I am upset. I want to walk. I don't like the car. Come with me and I'll show you how you do the bath. Having a dinner party? It's going to be a rousing success. Dessert, baklava, of course. As you can see, a little fellow on the stove. Some people would throw this out once it falls on the floor. But no, not me, not Sylvia's bottle. There's nothing, nothing in the world quite like it. Actually, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good, it's good for you. Everyone should eat it. And now that you can get it online, so cheap, so easy, what else can you possibly ask for? How many people are coming to your dinner party? Twelve. How much baklava do you have? For them or me? It's not pushing me! So the crimes associated with baklava were now a thing of the past. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. And in the world of film, the Academy for the first time in its history has knowledge the work of a no-budget digital production Wendy Pooley's documentary, Sylvia's Baklava. The darker than dark horse of this year's competition has beat out both Martin Spielberg and Steven Scorsese to win the best documentary award this year. The no budget digital video can outperform even the biggest budgets in Hollywood. And how just a simple idea, when put forth with good writing and good technique, can capture the imagination of the filmmakers. A spokesperson for this year's extravaganza told Sherwoodness News that Wendy, an actress in the New York area, is currently playing the role of Elise in Alex A. Capella's production of Stairway to Heaven on Broadway. And they all lived happily ever after. What's the purpose of your being? Pizza. Pizza? Yeah. Pizza? Yeah. Pizza? Uh, well, excuse me. All you care about is pizza? I really want to be an actor. If you really want to be an actor, why can't you memorize a goddamn line, let alone a monologue? What's so hard to do that? What, what, do you think it's a joke? You'll never be an actor if you don't memorize lines or even have any feeling towards the character. Wait. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up! Yes. This is, I'm talking to you seriously. So what's the character about? Can you tell me? He's a pizza chef. What about a monologue? Do you remember the monologue that I gave you last week? Is that something you put on pizza? If you're so good with pizza, mm -hmm. well, what about uh, memorizing the goddamn menu and then trying to do that right? Oh, yeah, oh you can do that. Yeah. But if you can do that, you can do a monologue. Yeah. So what's stopping you? If you can't eat a monologue, you're gonna eat pizza. You're wasting my time. Not only are you wasting my time, you're wasting your time. I, I've been telling you this. Do yourself a favor, okay? Don't waste my time anymore. One, two, I couldn't give a flying you know what, because uh -huh. you want to eat pizza all the time. I'm not your right. buddy to eat pizza. I'm here right. to teach you how to become an actor and a human being. All right, I'll get the pizza delivered. New York City just loves Sylvia's baklava as does the rest of the world. Fan mail kept pouring in. Heartfelt letters, poems, and beautiful postcards came in from every corner of the globe. There's nothing like Sylvia's baklava, honey, with a little cinnamon on top.
Peninsula Peace Palaces will be sort of beacons of knowledge, of new knowledge, of open new solutions to problems. They will also incorporate programs of meditation. And the other benefit to these things, to these peace palaces, they'll be supported by local investors who will get their money back by or Vedic organic farming.